It's true, though, that when you see terror right in front of your eyes, you, the normal human reaction is always to panic, as well as question yourself a little bit. Is this really what I signed up for? Jean-Luc Jean captures that in that moment, as this is the angry anime fan that is better viewer. Jean-Luc, episode 3, here. In this episode, of course, the many people are... Um, very panicked over the fact that um, the Genlock team, so to speak, is very panicked over the fact that they just saw a recruit dying right in front of their eyes, although technically that wasn't really a recruit. And the colonel is going down hard on Weller over the fact that the only reason why they transferred the doctor here is because she thought she could protect them or being very safe, but now suddenly Union knows that they are here meaning that they are in more compromised than ever. Also is the fact that Gen Lock is not very ultra-developed. It's a heating uh, argument as well as we learn some, some uh, well, uh, history of the different people. We learned that Valentina, they were in the resistance a long time ago and they've been fighting for a very, for a, yes, an equal long time. And now um, just wants to go away, so to speak. We also learn that Jasmine is a Union stray, a uh, former fighter of Union until now. And also is the fact that Kazu, the Japanese man, who still is the only one who talks in Japanese, uh, um, doesn't really fight because he wants to. The little, the Scottish girl, or at least I thought, think she's Scottish, is the one really throwing things. Uh, up to much. I have to, have, to, have to say I really don't like her foul mouth, but hey, other than that, uh, Cameron as her name is, is pretty adorable. So either way, uh, the Genlock team is reluctant to continue. So uh, Dr. Willis suggests just one uh, simple hollow test. Uh, Jasmine and Chase immediately get in and they choose Cameron to be the next one. And well, while she has trouble walking, this does make the Genlock team a little bit more interested as they even try to play baseball and later also do catch the flag against uh, some of the recruits uh, of Vanguard. But of course, the only one who can really move that, that way and get the flag is Chase, given his experience in the Holom. It's during this time, however, that suddenly we see refugees from the different cities. I'm still not exactly sure what Union is, but it seems to imply that Union really is not just a nanotech or machine-like people. No, there are real humankind. So what is this, some kind of race war? No, I don't think it's as simple as that. I think uh, it's just some uh, different people. And here is where Dr. Weller really pulls a very poetic uh, and nice uh, uh, word word of it all uh, holding a poetic speech on the fact that things are moving like this because of people of aggression unscrupulous greed and unchecked hate and the fact that um, the headlines and images are thrown into you it's the way you normalize it and they want you to go numb become indifferent to lose yourself in destructions where it feels like in this evil and all these machines are nothing big to challenge Weller even mentions that he didn't want to, to weaponize Genlock, but he also believes that Genlock is the biggest uh, evolution of mankind yet, and the team of Genlock is uh, the ones that can work to change it. Having seen the refugees, as well as tried Hollow, slowly Genlock feels a little bit more motivated, and so decides to stick around after all. However, before when uh, Weller logs up, it's revealed that the colonel only says that they're only going to be here for six months or so, or something is going to happen in six months. You can say something about Dr. Weller, but Dr. Weller is a secret keeper. Yes, I I have no um, denying he's, uh, he's a good guy, although sometimes a little bit uh, of a mad scientist. But it does seem to be a guy that likes to keep things hidden until they are revealed. He didn't even tell the Union spy that he would not be compatible. Just to show 
the other people what will happen if you are compatible or not, as well as showing that there's a more fate worse than that there is always that what you demand will always kill you. So Weller seems to be the kind of guy that really puts a psychological twist in some of the things. Even worth noting that he pl uh, he plays them uh, the hollow the Genlock team in the position of the refugees yes so they could get some well uh, doubt so to speak so yeah well definitely a good guy Dr. Weller is a cunning man other than that the colonel uh, is very easily panicking now and is not really liking what things are going I'm really wondering if she is a character that is gonna die early well, you can give me your faults if you have any.